Hi guys, it's me, Essie Magic, and today I am gonna be sharing some of the hottest places to visit in Ghana. I recently went there, and so I have a lot of personal experience to talk about. I thought maybe I could help you guys out. I am gonna give a disclaimer though, that I'm trying to keep this video to more of like the newer things that have become popular recently or that have emerged recently. So you're not gonna see me talk about the traditional things people know about, like the Cape Coast Castle, Alameda Castle, Kakun Park, Kwam and Kruma Mausoleum, all these things I feel like you can just Google it, it's on tons of lists. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it. Oh, and none of this is based on data. This is all my personal experience. So don't start writing in the comments. Oh, how do you know that's one of the hottest places? It's from my observation. So number one, Bloom Bar. Everybody is talking about Bloom Bar. When you go to Ghana, people are like, did you go to Bloom Bar? You gotta check out Bloom Bar. It is one of the most popular new night spots that have emerged in Ghana. It's a nightclub slash lounge. It's located in Accra near the Osu area. So where a lot of the popular cool things are. And it's outdoor, so you get that outdoor open air vibe. There's like a main area, there's a VIP area, and then there's this like upper deck area. When I went, we sat in the VIP area, of course. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, you know I like things that are VIP and you know, up there. But anyway, this place has become one of the coolest places. They play great music and a diverse amount of music also. So if you're a foreigner, they also play American music, but they also of course play the Afro beats, the Amma piano, all the latest stuff happening. And even if you don't have VIP, you can still have fun. I saw Chance the Rapper literally walk by me when I went there and he was not a VIP. He was just chilling, having fun with everybody. So you can technically have fun no matter what part you're sitting in, but I will give the warning that if you don't have a cabana booked, there is no seating. Other than that though, it is one of the coolest places to go to. Next on my list is not necessarily a specific thing, but a specific activity, which are the music festivals. Pretty much with the emergence of African music taking over the world, let's be real, festivals have become huge. And if you don't go, you're gonna have FOMO, honestly. The one that I went to when I went to Ghana just now was Afro Future, formerly known as Afrochella, but they got sued, so <laughs> Afro of Future. And it's funny, because originally we weren't sure do we really wanna go to this one or not, but literally everybody, when the date is coming, everybody's going to this one. It happens at Elwak Stadium in Accra between Christmas and New years. When I went, Davido was the headliner, although there are a ton of other artists, but he was the headliner and he was amazing. The only thing is that he didn't come on stage until 3.30 uh, a.m. So that's something you have to be prepared for. <laughs> if you go to any of this stuff, the, the top act probably won't come on stage until he finished another performance in another country and flew on a flight and quickly showed up 10 minutes before and then went on stage. <laughs> Other than that though, there's food, there's vendors, all sorts of things to do. They have different areas as well, general admission, VIP and VVIP. Although the VVIP, they don't, they like you can't buy it on the website or anything, but the VIP and the general admission, you can buy on the website. And wow, look at how nice my earrings look today. I have to talk about my jewelry brand. Zam Jewelry. Before I get into the rest of the video, I have to shameless plug my jewelry brand. This earrings is powerful on it because it is bold and empowering jewelry. Affordable, high quality, every single piece was designed by me. So, you know, check it out. There's the strong e necklace, also designed by me. It says strong because like I said, it's empowering. So yeah, Zam Jewelry. Check it out. <laughs> of course I have to shameless plug, of course. Everyone does it. I've worked hard on my brand and I'm proud of it. Now, number three. Bondi a restaurant located in Osu area, Accra Osu area. It is a restaurant that specializes in Japanese and Mediterranean dishes, healthy, fresh, oh. It was so good. I like it because it's healthier and the food doesn't feel too, I don't know what's the word, fake. 
and it has an amazing ambiance. You know I'm all about the ambiance. I will choose a restaurant for the environment and the ambiance over the food. So, you know, you gotta compare it. Although this place had great food too, I just, I'm giving that warning that I will choose a place that is modern, chic, nice, Instagrammable, TikTokable, whatever you wanna call it. This place is it. It's such a nice place that so many people book it for private events, parties, all sorts of things. Oh, and when I was there, I had the most amazing salmon. Oh. Oh, it was so good. Oh, it was just so good. Honestly, I'm showing clips as I'm showing you and talking about how it's good. Pretty much every single meal my family ate, it was it was just all good. Whether it was the chicken, the rice, the salmon, the salad, it was all good. And as a bonus, it's located right next to Cabo. Cabo is the nightclub. It's like their sister. I think that it has the same owner and it's like the sister club So you can literally go from Bondi eat dinner and then go to Cabo Which is right beside to hear some nice music dance have some fun The next place on my list number four is Mocha's Resto Cafe Located in Labani. Oh, it is modern. It is exquisite. It is nice. It is neat. It is spacious Oh, it's a beautiful place place and they have a nice patio outside as well even the restroom the restroom was so nice and neat again I'm very much into the ambiance I love places that look modern and chic and this was it and they had a really good selection on the menu I will admit I copped out and I ordered something simple sometimes I do that in Ghana because I just you know, you have to be careful with the food over there, let's be real, you know, you can't just eat whatever, you might end up sick, so. <laughs> and I'm talking as someone who has a North American stomach, so we have weaker stomachs, so we have to be careful what we eat and drink over there. You know, don't drink the water, like they say, so. The next place on my list is Cupcake Boutique, and this place has been around for years, at least five or six years, but I wanted to include them on the list because honestly, like I really commend them for the success that they've had they're originally people from overseas I think two sisters who came over and started it and it has done well ever since it's got these beautifully decorated uh, cupcakes, donuts, they have smoothies, all sorts of things. It's also located near Labani, which is a place that generally has a lot of cool things. Um, the only thing I will say is that I noticed that when I went this time that they changed their red velvet cupcake recipe a little bit. It's not as good as it used to be, just saying. But they do have a lot of other cool flavors that, like they have so many flavors other than red velvet that I'm sure a ton of people would like. So. Still check it out. It is a super cool, again, modern, Instagrammable, TikTokable, all those things. The next place on my list is a place that's a little bit different. It is a co-working space called Jambo Spaces, located by the Trade Fair. And if you're a creative, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're somebody who's a mover and shaker doing all sorts of cool things, then this is a really cool place to go. You can just bring your laptop there. And I love that. I love going to, to cool like co-working spaces, cafes, all sorts of those types of places and just bringing my laptop and working on things like Zam jewelry and other things I'm working on. And it is a really cool space because Ghana is not really known for having a lot of co-working spaces. It's kind of new, new-ish there. They used to have like, uh, what's it called, internet cafes. Back in the day for people who didn't have internet, but nowadays so many places have Wi-Fi, even the mall has Wi-Fi. Um, so to see a co-working space, it's super cool and the whole environment inside is really cool as well. They got these cool colors. So I just really commend that sort of cool space for creatives now coming to Ghana. And it's cool that we're just empowering people to you know start their own projects, be their own leader, you know, own their path and create all these cool things in Ghana. The next place on my list isn't one particular place, but it's like a vibe. It is the cafe scene. As you may or may not know, Vida E Cafe has taken over Ghana. When I went there some years ago, they had like one or two locations. Now they have like 10 locations, so they're killing it. 
And also there's another cafe I discovered called Sip Cafe, located in Malcolm Mall, which is near my parents' house. And just all the cafes are just looking so cool and modern. Again, you can bring your laptop there work they've got all the coffees and lattes and drinks and smoothies the pastries and the muffins and the cakes it's just they've got everything it's just so modern oh the cafes are really cool the last place on my list kind of relates to what i just mentioned malcolm mall about the cafes, except we're actually talking about Malcolm Mall. This place opened in August, 2023, and it is super new, modern, and chic. It's a mall. I'm, oh, I'm not talking about the old Malcolm, by the way, because Malcolm has been in Ghana for years. This is not the old Malcolm. This is a brand new, modern Malcolm Mall on Spintex that has just everything you can need as a foreigner. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I am a very picky eater and I have all these things I'm used to. I mentioned in um, one of my videos that I was upset because in London they didn't have non-dairy milk. <laughs> Melka Mall has that. Literally any obscure thing you're used to from back home, they have it. They have oat milk, almond milk. Even in my vlog, I did a whole vlog by the way about my time again and all the cool places. So if you wanna see full footage and my full experience of all the places I listed in this video, watch my full vlog, I'll link it right here. But I even made a joke in that video about how they even had an olive bar, like olives, Ghanaians don't eat olives, honestly. So <laughs> the fact that they even have that is just a testament to how modern this store is. And on top of that, the place also has some cool things. It's got a pizza hut, it's got this frozen yogurt place, it also has the cafe, it's B to E Cafe and the other cafe there. It's got an arcade, it's got a bar. I'm telling you, Malcolm Mall is like a lifesaver. Oh my gosh, it's great. Anyway, <laughs> that is it for my list of the eight hottest places to visit in Ghana. Again, this is from my personal experience. This is from, you know, what I experienced just when I went there. There's way more things to do in Ghana other than just that. I just listed the ones that I did that I thought were super cool and you know worth mentioning in this video. Who knows, I might do a part two to this video. Either way, I really hope that you found this video helpful and also in the comments, if I miss something, put it in the comments so that people can see, let me know because maybe there's a place I didn't go to. And like I said, I kept this to some of the newer things. There's a lot of older things that are still really cool places to go. So anyway, like I said, put it in the comments. Any hot, cool place that you wanna suggest or you think that I missed that you think should be on this list or even just your experience from the places that I did mention on this list. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe if you wanna see more of my adventures as an entrepreneur, as someone who lives in Los Angeles, as somebody who travels and goes to all these events and conferences and things like that. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you next time. And of course, keep being magic. Bye.